Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obueda. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now. We'll give you praise. We expect uncommon help. We expect uncommon visitation. Hallelujah. We expect uncommon manifestation of supernatural intervention concerning our dreams, concerning our visions, concerning things God has called us to do. In the name of Jesus, I decree this morning the help has come to you. Let's pray in the spirit. The help has come to you concerning your vision. I see the Lord helping people supernaturally. I see the Lord helping you supernaturally. Supernatural help for your vision. In the name of Jesus, in Psalm 108, verse 1, Psalm 108, verse 1, he said, God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. A fixed heart. When your heart is fixed in the Lord, when your heart is fixed in the Lord, nothing can stop you from manifesting the will of God. So I'm going to pray right now. Lord, my heart is fixed on you. Nothing can stop me from manifesting your will. Makila krado seketo li kaparando. Makada krado seketo li kaparanda. Li karaba seketo li la karaba. My heart is fixed on him. Nothing will stop me from manifesting his will. Nothing will stop me from manifesting his purpose. Makida kotolo bosoka. Malegra to seketo li kaparanda. Malega to zuka badiga balando. Makada. Allah deseke to lebe zakada. Melengra to soko para to saka. Lord, we thank you because my heart is fixed on you. Makuri kaparandos ke to libra kababa. My heart is fixed on the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 116, verse 12, Psalm 116, verse 12, he said, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefit towards me? What shall I render unto the Lord? I'd like us to begin to render thanksgiving now. I want you to begin to thank God for what he has done for you. Uh, you may have not gotten to your destination but one thing is sure, you have not remained where you used to be. I'd like us to begin to thank him. There is power in thanksgiving. Miracles happen in the atmosphere of thanksgiving. Miracles happen in the atmosphere of thanksgiving. 
healing takes place in the atmosphere of thanksgiving. Lord, we we'll thank you for being faithful. We we'll thank you. As you thank him, your revelation will increase. As you thank him, wisdom will come upon you. As you thank him, understanding will come upon you. Maliga talambra tokoto li parando. Maleke teleke parando seke to libla kamaba. As you thank him, things will begin to happen. Uncommon visitation. Li karaba. Be grateful for where you are. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for where you're going to. Makali karando baba baba. Ma. God will always promote the grateful heart. The, the grateful heart will always be promoted by the Lord. Lord, we thank you for being faithful, for being mighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Psalm 121. Psalm 121, verse 1, he said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. I will lift up my eyes. Psalm 121, verse 1. Psalm 121, verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Verse 3 said, My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Oh, look, my, let's begin to prophesy. I have supernatural help. I have supernatural help to carry out this business, to carry out this vision, to carry out this ministry. I have supernatural help. Prophesy that to your life right now. Supernatural help for your marriage. Whatever that is going like a difficult issue right now, by supernatural help, your marriage is coming together. Your marriage is coming together. We'll receive supernatural help. We'll look onto the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help comes from the Lord. 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 Meliga Bradoske Tola Kabaliga Melengre de Seketolibla Kababa. Our help has come, Mandro second to live Kamaba. Help has come concerning the vision, concerning the ministry, concerning your son. Help has come to you. Supernatural wisdom is coming upon you right now. Supernatural wisdom is coming upon you right now to know what to say to your daughter, to know what to say to your son, to know what to say to your business associate. Uh, supernatural wisdom is coming upon you right now. I prophesy upon you supernatural wisdom. Mm. Supernatural wisdom is coming upon you right now. Supernatural wisdom is coming upon you right now. Supernatural wisdom is coming upon you right now. Supernatural wisdom. You will know what to declare. You will know what to say. You are one word away from what you're looking for. The purpose of supernatural wisdom is to unlock the strategy that will change the situation. The purpose of supernatural wisdom is to unlock the strategy that will change the situation. Supernatural wisdom is upon you. It's upon you. I have supernatural wisdom 
to enforce the will of God, to enforce the purpose of God by supernatural wisdom. I know who is connected to my destiny. Mm. I have supernatural wisdom. I have supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom for my vision. Supernatural wisdom for my assignment. Supernatural wisdom to handle difficult people. Supernatural wisdom for making financial decisions. Supernatural wisdom to attract the right opportunity. Supernatural wisdom to know how to make the right decision. I prophesy upon you right now. By supernatural wisdom, you are changing the tide of this situation. You are changing this situation. Supernatural wisdom is in operation. Makala de Keto Libra Kamaba. The things you may have considered impossible. By supernatural wisdom, you're breaking free. You're breaking free. You're breaking free. Mm. By supernatural wisdom, you're breaking free. Matola Kodeba Sokole Balaka. By supernatural wisdom, you're seeing things happening. Koyaba Sakayaba. Meleko Tomasa Kalambra de Seka Baba. Supernatural wisdom is upon you. Rakaraba seketo libra karababa. Randri seketo libra karababa. Randri seketo lobo shakarababa. Supernatural wisdom is upon you to manage your vision, to manage your assignment. Makaliga da baso ko balingra da sakababa. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Psalm 121, verse 3, he said, in Psalm 121, verse 3, he said, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Uh, God does not slumber. He said, He that keepeth thee will not slumber. I prophesy your foot shall not be moved. Concerning your destiny, concerning your assignment, uh, your foot shall not be moved. Uh, in the name of Jesus, your foot shall not be moved. It doesn't matter the bad news you had. It doesn't matter the storm that came. Uh, my foot shall not be moved. I shall not be distracted. Your foot shall not be moved. You can live again. You can win again. You can rise again. Your foot shall not be moved. You will rise again. You will rise again. If it true be condemned there is a hope that it will sprout again. You are rising again. Your prayer life is rising again. Your faith work is rising again. Your confection of the word of God is rising again. Your passion for the things of the spirit is rising again. Your passion for the work of God is rising again. Your passion to build a mega business is rising again. Your passion to pay for that house is rising again. Your comfort is rising. Something new is rising for your sake. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Radia Patoko la Bladi Sakama, Mele Korobo Sakaraba Sakaba Baba, understanding is coming to you. Randre Sketolobo Sakaba, Le Karaba Sekaba Baba, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Psalm 125, Psalm 125, X1, Psalm 125, X1, he said, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion which cannot be removed, but abided forever. Look at that scripture. Psalm 125, X1. They that trust in the Lord shall be as man Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. Abided forever. Can you see this? You cannot be removed. 
This is why you can't lose your confidence. This is why you can't give up on your dream. You can't give up on yourself. You see, that, that, that you had a bad news doesn't mean a bad day. Hallelujah. That the news was bad doesn't make it a bad day for you. Hallelujah. It said they will not be moved. They will not be removed. Lift up your voice and prophesy. Bad news does not meet does not mean a bad day. Hallelujah. We have the ability to rise above bad news. <laughs> I had one this morning. I said, No way. Satan, you can attack my focus. My focus is intact. I will continue to preach the gospel. I will continue to stand with God's, God's people. Nothing will stop my focus. Bad news does not mean a bad day. That's a word for someone right now. That you heard the bad news doesn't make it a bad day. The scripture said, This is the day the Lord has made our rejoice and be glad. I expect good news today. I expect preferential treatment today. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. There is an open door ahead of you. There is an opportunity ahead of you. There is a blessing manifestation ahead of you. It's time to behave like David and David encouraged himself in the Lord is God. It's time to encourage yourself. It's time to say to yourself, the giant in me is bigger than the giant outside me. The giant in me is greater than the giant before me. The giant in you is greater than the giant that is before you. The giant in you is greater. The greater one lives in your inside. You are not going down, you are rising up. You are not going down, you are rising up. You are not going down, you are rising up. In the name of Jesus, amen. Psalm 125, verse 2. Psalm 125, verse 2, he said, As the mountains are surrounded about Jerusalem, so the Lord is around about his people from henceforth even forever. Oh my God, what an assurance. What an assurance, not insurance. What an assurance. <laughs> what an assurance. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. This is why you're not going down. This is why things will not get worse. They can only get better. This is why you are not going to lose your mind. This is why you are not going to give up on yourself. The Lord encamp around those that fear him. He's around the angel of the Lord encamped around those that fear the Lord. Lift up your voice and prophesy. Lord, I thank you because you surround me. All things are working together for your good. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Psalm 121, verse 6. Mm. Psalm 121, verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the noon by night. Verse 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Wow. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. <laughs> not some evil, all. The one you are aware of it and the one you are not aware of it. They are, they are included in the all. The, I like that scripture. You're going to write it out and paste it somewhere in your door. Maybe just watch that. And every morning you woke up and you declare this and said, the Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. Hallelujah. You know what it means? You wake up every morning and you see that. I'm preserved from evil. I'm preserved from strange bullets. I'm preserved from strange bullets. I'm preserved from violence in the streets. I'm preserved. I'd like you to begin to declare that right now. The Lord is preserving your dream. He's preserving your vision. He's preserving your assignment. Randra 
in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory be to Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Masha Kababa. Lekaraba Seketolibla Karababa. Rindro Seketolibla Karababa. Rindro Seketolibla Karababa. Rico Doba Sakaraba Baba Baba Baba. Randre Seketolibla Karababa Baba Baba. Randre Seketolibla Koroba Sakala Baba Baba. Randre Seketolibla Karababa Baba Baba. Randre Seketolibla Karababa Baba Baba. Randre Seketolibla in the name of Jesus, Psalm 144, verse 1. In Psalm 144, verse 1, he said, Blessed be the Lord, my strength. Oh my God, I like this. <laughs> my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. This is why David was powerful. It was God who taught him. <laughs> you saw why this man was not defeated. You saw why this man continued to have a landmark that cannot be forgotten. Psalm 144, verse 1, it said, Blessed be the Lord, my strength. Who is your strength? Your husband is not your strength. Your wife is not your strength. Your strength is the Lord. Hallelujah. Your wife may encourage you. Your husband may encourage you. But your strength is the Lord. Your pastor is not your strength. The Lord is your strength. Look at David. Your strength come from Jehovah. I love you, but I'm not your strength. Hallelujah. The Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Look at what he said. He said, blessed be the Lord, my strength. This is how to speak in this season. Hallelujah. You wake up in the morning and you declare, blessed be the Lord, my strength. My strength to face the day. My strength to face the future. My, this is why you cannot be discouraged. This is why you cannot be depressed. This is why anxiety and fear cannot control your destiny. You know, because the Lord is my strength. Can you declare that this morning together with me? The Lord is my strength. I want you to say it with boldness. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. Concerning my vision, the Lord is my strength concerning my marriage the lord is my strength concerning my vision the lord is my strength concerning my job the lord is my strength concerning my future the lord is my strength the lord is my strength i can't give up i can't quit i can't walk away i i i, I can't be depressed i cannot be frustrated i cannot lose my mind the lord is my strength go ahead and declare this morning the lord is my strength concerning 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 23. Oh, tell, tell Jesus return. He is my strength. The Lord is your strength for you to recover everything you have lost. Uh, the Lord is your strength. This is why you can't lose hope. When God is your strength, your hope is sustained. When God is your strength, your provision will increase. When God is your strength, uh, you will not feel disappointed. Uh, whether that company call you or not, uh, because God is my strength, I'll be food on my table. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is my strength. If they withdraw their support, God is my strength. If they give their support, God is my strength. If it look like it's not going to work, God is my strength. If it look like I've been going through some challenges, God is my strength. Because it's my strength, I will rise above affliction, above the circumstances, above the storm, above every limitation. The Lord is my strength. When I don't know what to do, my strength does not fail. The reason why I will continue is because God is my strength. I can't give up on myself. I can't give up on my vision. I can't give up on my destiny. I can't give up on my future because the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. 
The Lord is your strength concerning your assignment. Every secret theater, may it be wife of your eyes, may it be cleansed from your eyes. Every secret theater, because the Lord is your strength, you are refreshed, you are comforted, you are strengthened, you are empowered. The place where they thought you're going to give up, they will see you accelerate beyond the place because the Lord is your strength. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's my strength. The money is coming. The provision is coming. The help is coming. The Lord is your strength. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, Psalm 144, verse 2. Psalm 144, verse 2. I think you will like this one. Hallelujah. You will like this one. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. It's Psalm 144, verse 2. My goodness. Oh, my God. He is my goodness. <laughs> my fortress. <Ooh. laughs> you know, when you ask me, Apostle, why are you always relaxed? Why are you always calm? Why are you always moving? This is a scripture. Why are you always glad in the midst of storms and adversities? Why do you keep moving? This is the scripture. My goodness. He's my goodness. So it doesn't matter what the enemy does. I'm, I'm looking at my goodness. I'm looking at my goodness. He's my goodness. My fortress. When my mother-in-law called me this morning and told me she lost one of her sons, <laughs> I said, Satan, you're messing yourself up. But you can get my focus. My focus, let the whole earth sink. Apostle Fitman will be focused. <laughs> let the war break out on every side. I will be focused. I have determined to stay focused. I've made up my mind. Let me tell you one thing about life. If you want the things that happen around you to control you, they will. But if you allow the will of God to control you, then you'll be focused. The enemy will come at you in many ways. He may even cause the death of loved ones to just make you say, God, where are you? I've been faithful. No, I'm not telling, asking God, where are you? I know where God is. He's inside of me. <laughs> I'm not asking God, where are you? No, 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 I know where he is. <laughs> he is not expecting that question from me. He knows I know better. So when people say, you know, things happen to people in life and they say, God, where is you? I've been faithful. I've been diligent. God, where are you? All these things I'm doing for you. No, 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 that's foolishness. He's inside of you. Paul said something, he said, nay, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror. He said, what will separate us from the love of God? What will separate us from the love of God? There are things that comes like a storm. But one thing I want to remind you this morning, let your focus be on Jesus. Let your focus be on Jesus. I said to myself, I'm not going to have a sad day. No way. No way. <laughs> I'm not going to have a sad day. I'm even going to preach more today. Today is going to be a preaching one next day for me. I'm going to preach and preach and preach and preach and preach and preach. As hell can know that of all the things they have done that I'm walking, I'm still effective. And I want to say this to you. Whatever God has called you to do, refuse to be distracted. Prophesy into your life right now. Tell yourself, I will not give up on what God has come to do. Pray right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Wherever you are watching or listening to me, pray in the Holy Ghost and say, Lord, I'm not going to give up on what you call me to do. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit. On his will. I'm not going to give up on his purpose. I want you to prophesy. You're not going to quit on God. It's my goodness. It's my fortress. It's my high tower. It's my deliverer. It's my shed. And in and, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Go ahead and prophesy. He is my everything. He is my strength. 
He is my high tower. Rokodobo shakababa. Rakaraba seketo libra kababa. Rendo do 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 shakababa. Rakaraba seketo libra kababa. Rendo seketo libra kababa. He is my high tower. I will not give up on God. I will not give up on His word. Likaraba sekele baba. Rendo seketo libra kababa. Rendo seketo lobo shakababa. Rendo seketo lobo shakababa. Rendo do 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 sekele baba. Randre seketo libla karababa. Randre seketo libla karababa. Rekorobo shakababa. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Someone just got healed. You are feeling you had some fever, but you have been healed by the power of God. The fever is gone. Thank you, Lord. The fever is gone. I rebuke that fever by the power of God. You have been healed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Expect good news today. That's a word for somebody watching me. Expect good news today. Mm. Expect good news today. Expect good news today. As today is a day of good news. Expect good news. Psalm 146, verse 3. Psalm 146, verse 3 said, Put not your trust in princes. No, in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Wow. Do you see that? Hallelujah. Psalm 146, verse 3. He said, put not your trust in princes. No, in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. In whom there is no help. Where are you going to put your trust? How are you going to buy that house? By trusting God. How are you going to pay off your car notes? By trusting God. How are you going to pay off your truck? By trusting God. How are you going to be able to deal with situations? By trusting God. How are you going to be able to help more people? By trusting God. How are you going to partner with the ministry more? By trusting God. He said, don't put your trust in princes. Don't put your trust in man. He said, there is no help there. Lift up your voice and prophesy and say, Lord, you're my helper. Lord, you're my helper. Concerning my dreams, concerning my vision, concerning my assignment, you are my helper. Leave like come about. You are my helper in the name of Jesus. But this assignment on your life, but this vision on your life, He's gonna help you. He's gonna help you to finish everything, to finish strong. He's gonna help you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna share briefly with you this word of exhortation. How to conquer troubles. How to conquer troubles. How to conquer troubles. Why do troubles come? Troubles come to distract you from doing the will of God. Troubles come to keep you away from, from trusting God. The enemy brings in trouble to break your focus. This is why trouble comes. The enemy brings trouble, problems, opposition to break your focus. You see, when you make up your mind to do the will of God, be ready to combat every opposition, to come against every opposition. Be ready to come against Every opposition, you know, because the enemy will try to throw these things at you to break your focus. Now, I want to read a scripture. How to conquer troubles. Praise the Lord. How to conquer troubles. Praise the Lord. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, I'd like us to read from verse 37. Okay, let's do it from verse 35, sorry. Romans 8:35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? One of the ways you conquer troubles is to focus on the love of Christ. That God loves you is an inspiration to trust in his ability. That God loves you is an inspiration to trust in his ability. That God loves me. When I have this understanding that God loves me, that is an inspiration to trust in his ability. 
Look at that scripture again. He said, he said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress? These are troubles. These are troubles. You weren't expecting it, but it came your way. When trouble shows up, don't forget how God loves you. It's important. When trouble shows up, don't forget that God is behind you to help you out of the trouble. When there is a trouble, a problem, don't forget that you have God on your side. Because the enemy makes us sometimes believe that, oh, God is not for you. If God is for you, why are you having this trouble? Why is this trouble your way? Why is this challenge your way? If God is really for you, why are you going through this trouble? Number one key to overcoming trouble is to focus on the love of God. Number two is to have an understanding that God is with you. That God is with you. You need to know that God is with you. No matter what you're facing right now, God is with you. God is with you. You need to settle this in your heart. You need to know that he's with you, that he cannot fail you, he, he cannot disappoint you. God is with you. And right now you're hearing this. If God is with you, why worry about it? If God is with you, why give up? Why quit? Why say, I don't know what to do? Because God is with you, you will have freedom. You will have liberty. You will have victory because God is with you. This is not a time to blame God. This is not a time to blame yourself, to say, if I've done this, if I've done that, this could have not happened. No, God is with you. God is with you to subdue your trouble. Another key to overcoming trouble, don't let the voice of trouble distract you from your passion for the kingdom. Don't let the voice of trouble distract you from your passion for the kingdom. The voice of trouble. You know, some people are overwhelmed by what they're going through to a point that they are, it affects their commitment to the kingdom. I don't want to live that kind of life. I don't want what I'm going through to distract me from doing what God has called me to do. I don't want what I'm going through. No, no, no. Don't let the voice of your trouble to overcome your passion for the kingdom. Don't let the voice of trouble to, to overcome your passion for the kingdom. Don't lose your passion for God because of the situation, because of trouble. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Because the mission of Satan is to ensure that you don't fulfill your purpose in God. That is the mission of Satan. Let me tell you what Satan wants to do to you. What Satan wants to do to you is to see you backslide, walk away from God, walk away from his word, walk away from the body of Christ. That's what Satan wants to do to you. This is why all these troubles are coming to you. All these troubles are coming your way for you to say, oh, oh where is God? seed. I've been faithful. What Satan wants to do is to make you attack the goodness of God. Satan wants you to attack the goodness of God, to, to doubt God's goodness. And you shouldn't do that. You overcome trouble by faith. We overcome trouble by faith. When there is a trouble, we need to stay in the place of faith to deal with the trouble. We need to stay in the place of faith. We need to pray about everything. You have to pray about everything. You need to stay in the place of faith. How do you stay in the place of faith? By believing what God has said, by declaring what God has said. By believing what God has said and by declaring what God has said. This is how you stay in the place of faith. By believing what God has said and declaring what God has said. Because all the enemy wants to do to you is to make you get frustrated and doubt the goodness of God. Never do that. Look at Job. He went through so many things. Look at what his wife said to Job. But Job never allowed what that woman said to him to distract him from following God. Job may not be a perfect man, may not have everything in order, but God helped Job out of that situation. 
God helped Job out of that situation. God helped Job. There are people telling you right now, Kai, you've been a Christian all these years. What, what is happening to you? What is going on with your life? What is happening? I used to know you when you're not a born again person. Ah, you are making progress. Listen, there is no progress you made in the flesh that can be considered like your progress in the kingdom. There is no progress you made in the flesh that can be considered like your progress in the kingdom. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what you used to have as an unbeliever. It cannot be, it cannot be, it cannot be, it cannot be compared with the peace of God that you have today. I mean, if you have peace here, wave your hands to me. You have peace in your mind. It's God who gives you peace in the midst of storm. You have peace no matter what is going on. You have peace. That peace, money can't buy it. Let me tell you, can't buy it in Walmart. You can't buy it in uh, eBay. You can't buy it in Amazon. Ask them whether they sell peace. Google them. Ask them whether they sell peace. Ask Google whether they sell They don't sell peace. Nobody sells peace. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding that is in your heart. The peace. You are in the midst of storm. Most of you, what you have gone through, if you're an unbeliever, you could have lost your mind. You could have taken a gun and gone shoot the person. But now you can't do it. You saw yourself in the midst of the storm. You're still floating. Why are you floating the peace of God? You subdue trouble by staying in your peace, by staying in the peace of God. You subdue trouble by staying in the peace of God. Peace of God. Peace of God. You know, one day I was doing Periscope and someone was just attacking me, attacking me. So people were watching to see what I would do, what I would say, something about the person. I didn't say anything. So when the broadcast was over, someone was talking to me, said, Apostle, how did you manage that? <laughs> I said, it's not everything that should be your focus. I know where to put my energy. I don't put my energy on things that are not connected to my direction. Stop wasting your energy to reply everybody. Stop, wa stop wasting your energy to reply everybody. No, don't do that. You're bigger than that. Rise above them. Rise above them. When they are trying to talk you down, you talk yourself up. That's what to do. I've given you the quote. When they are trying to talk you down, you talk yourself up. Keep flying. When you fly, you will see them at the floor. Hey, hi. You get what I'm saying? When you, when you fly up, you will see them at the floor. Hello. You are, you are waving them. They are on the floor. So you shouldn't go to the floor with them. Hallelujah. You shouldn't go to the floor with them. So when someone attack your image, attack your credibility, don't, don't try to be at their level and begin to fight back. No, no. You rise. You rise. It is those who rise above the emotion that takes the lead. <laughs> you rise. You rise. Declare it, I, I, I will rise and I won't stop rising. I will rise and I won't stop rising. That is what to do. So how do you overcome trouble? It's when you focus on the peace of God. When you focus on the peace of God. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to trust God concerning it. That's how you overcome trouble. You focus on the peace of God. You focus on the peace of God. How do you conquer trouble? How do you conquer trouble? You conquer trouble by believing in who you are and not in who you are not. You believe in who you are. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I come back to this situation. That's powerful. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I come back to this situation. This is not the end of me. This is not the end of me. How do you overcome trouble? You overcome trouble when you begin to pray in the Spirit. Energy will come to overcome it. As you pray in the Spirit, as you pray with scriptures, hallelujah, Pray with scriptures. Pray in the spirit. Pray with scriptures. Pray with the word of God. How do you overcome trouble? By praying the spirit. Pray the scriptures. Pray scriptures. Declare the word of God. I'm mother than a conqueror. You heard the bad news? He said, Jesus, I thank you because we are mother than a conqueror. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. That is what Robert Shula said. You know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. You got to be tough. And how do, you, how do you become tough? You become tough by feeling, by, by feeling yourself with the word of God that no matter what is happening, you cannot be broken. Oh, there is no banana faith here. I hope you heard it one time. No banana faith here. You're going to have, your faith should be like steel. 
your face should be like steel. Do you know those steel that is making bridge? You know, you, cr- you drive across those bridge and you saw that the bridge has been there for 20 years, for 30 years, for 40 years, for 50 years. Let me tell you what is keeping it, the steel. The steel. Let your face be like steel, not like banana. If you have a banana face, you won't last long. Very, I'm telling you, they will kick you. They will, you will just die. Telling you the truth. You can't have banana faith and survive here. <laughs> your faith must be aggressive. You know one thing about lions? Lions will roar. <laughs> lions are confident. I like lions because when they see elephant, they have seen their lunch. When lion is looking at elephant, he's looking at his lunch. Anytime lion look at elephant, he's seeing his food. Oh my God. The Lord has just provided. You don't, when you look at, that's how to look at your trouble. This is not a problem. Hallelujah. And the elephant is bigger than the lion. Most times. I watch this animal channel and I will see how the lion will jump on the elephant. And the elephant will be doing like this. What will be doing like this. <laughs> what will be doing like this. <laughs> the lion will hold the elephant. He will start biting, you know, beat, you know, one way. The, the elephant will just do this way to fall, the lion will come back. And energy, the elephant have energy, but he doesn't know how to maximize energy. But for lion, he has courage. What makes it lion is the courageous attitude. He doesn't believe that you can defeat him, that you can defeat him. Lion does not believe that you are going to defeat. Defeat. It's in any situation. You can't defeat a lion in any situation, except you come with a gun. But if he said his hand to hand, you need to have some anointing come upon you. And all the people that kill lion, it was by the spirit they killed the lion. No normal human being will face a lion, except God is empowering you to do that. Hallelujah. So I'm here to say to you that you need to have that courage like a lion and look at this trouble said I will eat you up. Huh? You look at this trouble and said, I will eat you up. Nobody can overcome a problem, a storm, when they are in fear. Fear tells you to go back. Fear tells you it's not possible. Behave like lion. No, nobody can overcome a lion except by the help of the spirit. Or they are having a gun to shoot at the lion or a spear or something. But if he says hand to hand, if God does not help that man, the lion will eat him up. Why does the lion behave that way? Because they have courage. There is nothing about the lion. They have courage. The courage to win. If you're going to defeat this trouble, you must have the courage to win. Don't easily break in adversity. Always go forward. I prophesy to you, you will always go forward. I prophesy to you, you will always win. I prophesy to you, you're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you, you're more than a conqueror. I prophesy that you will row up beyond limitation. You will row up beyond limitation. You will speak God's word with power and with energy, and you will have supernatural wonders. Finally, how to subdue troubles. Speak to it. Speak to it. Speak to the trouble. Speak to the trouble. Stop the tears and start speaking. As you speak, strength to overcome will come to you. As you speak to the trouble, as you speak to the storm, don't quit. Just speak. Declare. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Oh, let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's tell him thank you. Lord, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Oh, Libaba, the lion's fate, the lion's courage, the lion's fate, the lion's courage, the lion's fate, the lion's courage, the lion's attitude. Ooh, 
<laughs> an attitude of control, dominion. You, 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 you know you're in charge. Lions are always in charge. They have this thinking there. They are always in charge. We're in charge of this place. We're in charge of this territory. That is the kind of attitude you need to have towards your trouble. That this trouble, I will subdue this trouble. I will subdue this situation. I will subdue this storm. And you're seeing yourself, I'm in charge. And you're speaking the word of God of right. That's what to do right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We will speak peace over our life, over our dreams, over our vision. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lamb of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you right now that the Lord will strengthen you, that the Lord will keep you, that the Lord will open doors for you, that you have opportunities beyond your expectation. In the name of Jesus, may your needs be met, may your bills be paid. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Glory be to God. If you're watching this broadcast, we encourage you today to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Is Faith Man Teachings on YouTube. And also we encourage you to consider partnering with this ministry. You can do that by going to finishworktv.com and give as the Spirit of God will lead you. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. Until we come your way soon, don't forget this. You have a lion's faith and you can change your world. Bye-bye.